What is up everyone, Barricade here and bring you guys another episode of Gears of War lore. Today's video is going to be a little different than the past lore videos because there was something I noticed actually while playing on this multiplayer map and that's why I'm just simply walking around here to kind of explain what I noticed and it made me think about and want to make a video about. So essentially, while I have made a lot of lore videos in the past, I've never once really thought about one simple thing. What year does the Gears of War universe take place in? We do know that the planet Sarah is its own separate planet than that of Earth, has its own cultures, you know, things like that, completely separate than that of planet Earth. But I never really thought about the actual year it takes place when it comes to their world until now. While playing this new map, Ephira, I noticed that there's a sign here that says Hotel Estemon and essentially tells the history of the hotel's creation. But the one thing that really grabbed my eye is it states that right here on Bloom 12 of 2402 is when this hotel essentially was opened or created, something along those lines. But that made me think for a second. Wait a second. 2402. In our world, we're barely in the year 2021. But yet in their world, they're talking about the year 2402 when this was created. So I started to do some research on the planet Sarah itself, details about it on the... Um, when it came to with. the essentially the lore, the times, the calendar, and things like that. So we're going to cut to some very interesting information here about that um, in a moment. So just one second here while I cut to it. So the one thing I wanted to emphasize here was how the sign itself stated that the hotel was released on Bloom of 2402. So that was the one thing I wanted to really emphasize because of the fact that throughout all this time when I read the novels and things like that, when I heard the term Bloom frost and thaw and then there are a few other ones here i thought that that was essentially talking about the seasons of the year because in the novels the ones they only really mention that very often is essentially bloom thaw and frost i'm pretty sure the novels have mentioned other ones but those are the ones that i remember the most while reading all the novels or essentially those three so when i would read the novel i assumed that bloom meant like spring frost meant like winter or things like that but actually after doing some research here I found out that those are not the seasons they are in fact the months of the year so the way Sarah's calendar works in entirety is I'm gonna go ahead and bring this up right real quick here I'm just gonna read it to you guys is essentially it states here that due to emergence day that they started a new type of thing there where essentially they had before emergence and after emergence and then they would kind of do years based off that. But the main thing overall is they still have the full amount of the years altogether. And essentially throughout this time that the hotel, this is the part that really tricked me up, was that the hotel was released in 2402. But yet emergence day, you know, what the whole story is based on takes place in the year 5992. So that's stating that when it came to Sarah and how its planet was set up and everything, when it came to them actually remembering the years and everything there, they are actually almost at the start of the 60th century in their world when Emergence Day took place. And so that's quite crazy I didn't know that I didn't know that it was the 60th century that it's 5902 or 5992 excuse me that emergence day takes place and then on top of it all those terms we heard before bloom frost all that was actually the months so I'll go ahead and explain the months right here essentially I'll put the list up so you can read it but essentially from first to last there's 12 months in total similar to our world where essentially from beginning to end it's storm gale rise heat Bloom, reap, harvest, bounty, frost, sorrow, thaw, and broom. So from beginning to end, there is 12 months. But the other thing that the Wikipedia and everything stated here while researching it was that their planet, um, essentially their years are longer. So when it comes to our world, we're essentially roughly around 365. You know, there's some weird years here and there with like deep years and stuff like that. But overall, it's usually 365. And when it came to the planet Sarah, though, it's actually anywhere from 420 to 460 days for their years. And then their months can vary between 30 days to 38 days. And then on top of it, their weeks average 10 days 
every week instead of ours only being seven i knew about the fact that their planets hours were 26 hours that's something i always knew i actually remember like totally knew that from the novel and things like that that's like the only thing i actually knew the rest of it i did not know i'll admit i did not know about how their years work how many days all that so that's really interesting to know that not only just the hours are different but their days their weeks their years are built entirely different and it kind of makes me, you know, think more like the structure of the planet. Is it built differently? You know, obviously because it has emulsion and things like that. So it just makes me kind of wish they would kind of give us more information on that itself. So overall, the planet Sarah is quite different here. So I'll just go ahead and post this little quick cool picture they had here. Essentially like a classic pinup looking calendar that shows the month of Thaw. And as you can see right there, most of their weeks there consist of about 10 days. And essentially that particular month only has 30 days in general. But it's just quite interesting on how they broke it up, how it how it's different. And essentially, when it comes to the months themselves, they do still simply have a spring, summer, fall, and winter. And they consist, uh, obviously consist of those months. As you can see here, it kind of gives a little breakdown. Spring is broom, storm, gale. Summer is rise, heat, bloom. Fall is reap, harvest, bounty. And winter is frost, sorrow, thaw. So that's overall quite interesting. I never, ever knew that. I never did the research on that. So that's one thing I kind of wanted to talk about today. Because throughout reading all the novels and things like that, they never really focused on that. They never really mentioned it, never really talked about it. And it feels kind of cool to finally at least know this interesting fact about the Gears of War world, it, the planet Sarah. But now the other thing I actually wanted to talk about was something quite interesting here as well is actually the locust calendar as well when it comes to their you know how they depict time essentially and when it came to the locust calendar they kind of have some weird things there they have their seasons as well or their months whichever way you like to put it and essentially they have 12 as well and essentially from beginning to end it's queen fire drone leviathan danger nemesis emotion water human krill secure and cedar and the other really th weird thing that it says here essentially i'm going to read it to you guys is the collectible and essentially baird when seeing this calendar kind of gave a brief explanation on it and what he said there is i think this thing's like the locus equivalent of a calendar or a clock it says something about every season having its opposite and i also see other see some glyphs for nexus queen and maybe emulsion can't quite tell I'm guessing it has something to do with the ebb and flow of emulsion, but I'll have to do a little more research to confirm that. Considering that I'm about, oh, three kilometers deep right square in the guts of the enemy, you'll have to forgive me if my vast empirical skills aren't exactly at their finest right now. So this collectible essentially was in Gears 2 when he's in the hollow, and he just happened to see this essentially calendar or clock. And as it says, the seasons or months or whichever it is, has an opposite as well so queen its opposite is emulsion fire is water drone is human leviathan is krill danger is secure nemesis is cedar emulsion is queen water is fire Dr human is drone kill is krill is leviathan secure is danger and cedar is nemesis so it's kind of weird how they have essentially their specific months or seasons but then they also have something that on each one there's an opposite of it as well so that's just kind of really interesting there. So not only did the normal humans have their own depiction of time and seasons and months, the locusts, of course, had their own as well. But overall, that's what I really wanted to talk today in today's Gears of War lore. And that's not, I know it's not the greatest thing ever, but it's something that we never really expanded on or really talked about. And so I thought, hey, I'll actually make a video about it because that sign in the Ephira map really got me thinking. And it made me realize that, wow, the hotel was made in 2402 and emergence day was in 5992 so that means that the hotel was literally made over 3,000 years before gears one that's crazy to even think that they still have a structure a building still going for that many years it's just crazy and the fact that their years are longer than ours so that would mean that if you transferred it to human years it's even more so it's just really interesting to think about if you guys like this video please definitely hit that like button and subscribe and tell me what you guys think about the locust and human calendar for the planet sarah and the months and things like that was this interesting to you guys would you like to know more about planet sarah and maybe even its creatures let me know what you guys think in the comments below but anyways guys thanks for watching and take it easy
Thanks for watching this video. If you want to see my most recent Gears of War video, hit that link on the left. If you want to see any of my other content, hit that link on the right. Thanks for watching, guys.